I'm really happy today to present you Substance 3D Modeler, a 3D content creating tool that bridges the gap between traditional clay making and digital content. You can use it in VR, absolutely it's amazing, and you can use it in desktop version too, which makes it the perfect tool to create 3D content. Hi, day two here at IBC in Amsterdam, and I'm going to show you auto color. With a click of a button in the Lumetri color panel, you can easily auto color correct your shots. And with this slider, you can adjust the intensity and your parameters automatically update. And you also have the ability to adjust these parameters independently too. If you want to create a new look, you can go here and click the reset button and start over. And that's auto color. I'm really excited about speech to text and captions workflow that we have in Premiere. You can transcribe a sequence and create captions simply by clicking a button and we will transcribe the audio. All it does is take a couple seconds. And now I have my transcript. You can easily change uh, the spelling. You can replace different words. Now we can go here and make a new captions track. You can change the font and you can also change the color. And then you can apply it to all of the captions in your timeline. And it's as easy as that. I am so excited to be here to tell you all about our enhanced support for right to left languages as of After Effects 22.5. So without further ado, I'm going to send things off to Aaron Stern to give a demo of how this works. The new thing which gets me really excited about is the fact that when I have Hebrew text on screen, all I need to do is just make sure in the paragraph section, I'm choosing the right to left option. So the feature will allow you to just enter a text in Hebrew or Arabic, right to left, and everything is going to be supported, including animation presets, same way it works with English and Latin characters.